Yo, what's going on guys? It is Andrew Gim here. And before I do start this video, I do want to apologize for not uploading the Kobe review yesterday. Um, I did, uh, you know, fall asleep and woke up late. But anyways, here we do have the Kobe Bryant review. 08 tribute card. 08-09 season when they did win the championship. Um, so here we go. His speed is 83, dribbling 83, three-pointer 72, shooting 85, defense 73, and passing 77. And then it says here, career tribute, Kobe earned his first MVP award in 2008 while averaging 29 points and leading the Lakers to the NBA Finals. Kobe Bryant, what a freaking legend. So let's start here. He does play for the shooting lineup, sadly, but um, I would want him, honestly, to play for the big man lineup, but what can you do, you know? But um, anyways, here we have some clips, and like last review, I will be um, saying how well he plays and all that stuff. And thank you so much for the support in the last review, so yeah, that's why I'm making this one. My next one is probably going to be a Shaq or a different type of video, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyways, Kobe Bryant is, I know I said T-Mac was such an amazing player, but honestly, I think Kobe Bryant is way more better. His jump shot is so amazing, one of the best I've ever used. Look at him right here, just easily overpowering through so many defenders. He not only gets so much good layups, but look at that. He also gets so much good dunks. He posterizes so many people. And oh my goodness, this Kobe card, I'm not even lying. I'm like 100% here is one of, is the best I've used. I know I said T-Mac was the best, but that's because I didn't use him, use Kobe before him. So that's why I'm saying now that Kobe is honestly one of the best in the game, if not the best shooting guards that the game has to offer he has such amazing three-point shot better than t-max even though um tracy mcgrady's three-point shot is more more uh more better in the stats wise but kobe bryant oh my goodness man his jump shot is just on fire look at that and then his three-point shots are like on point most of the time i'm not gonna lie he does miss three-point shots who doesn't but look at that another posterizer i think no, that wasn't a Russell Westbrook. That was on a... I forgot who the shooting guard is. But anyways, um, excuse me. But, um, oh my gosh, I can't even stop talking about him. And he gets so many rebounds. It's not even funny. Um, I didn't really put that much rebound clips here because, I, like I said, I don't really want to do offense because offense clips are more better. But if you guys want me to put defense clips, then just let me know. But um, he got so, so many rebounds. More than Tracy McGrady, actually. And he was just there all the time when rebounds were made or when there was a chance to get a rebound. And also his fadeaway shot was amazing as well. So his jump shot is one of the best I've ever used for a shooting guard. And his fadeaway was always on point. He did miss a few, I'm not going to lie, but mostly he made all of them. So yeah, another thing about him was his um, ability to to get blocks he was he's not a big big blocker i'm not gonna lie he's not like a center type blocker but he did get a few blocks here and there and like i said if you guys want me to put some defense clips in just let me know and i'll do one for the next one but oh my goodness and his strength is just so amazing look at him he unfortunately did get blocked there but he did redeem himself look at that right there but kobe Bryant, oh my goodness man i can't just stop talking about his amazing shooting ability his fadeaway as i did say is amazing Jump shot is even better. Three-point shot is amazing for his what his stats say. Overall, Kobe Bryant's offense is a straight-up 10.0. I'm not even going to argue with any of that. Unfortunately, he is a pretty rare card, and he goes for over over 3 million, I think. I'm not sure, but this card did come out like before the world worldwide release, so most of you guys really don't know when or when he came out. So... Yeah, so if you guys didn't really pick up the game or install the game when it wasn't worldwide release and you had to install it in Canada, um, this card did come out when Kobe did retire, like back in January, I don't know, May, I think, I don't know when his last game was, but this card did come out and it was very, very much rare. I think more than more rare than Tim Duncan's, I'm not sure, but this Kobe card is one of the best. If you guys can't pick him up, then I would honestly suggest you do that. He does play for the shooting lineup, but... Oh my god, man. His shooting. Just look at that. I can't stop talking about his shooting, but here's another clip here. Just easy. One, two, three, and pop that three. So Kobe Bryant, out of 10. Oh yeah, I haven't talked about his defense yet. So steals, I honestly didn't get that much steals with him. I'm not going to lie here, but for blocking, he did get so many blocks for a shooting guard. And 
I'm honestly proud of that because he's a shooting guard. Shooting guards normally don't have like that much blocks, um, at least when I play. But he did have a surprising amount of blocks, so I'm proud of that. Also, his his main defense that was defensive rebounds. He got so many defensive rebounds that it was easy to make fast breaks with him because he had so much defensive rebounds. And that was honestly something that I was looking for. He's not a very slow uh, shooting guard that um, it's going to really affect the fast break. But honestly, Kobe Bryant is one of the best cards I've used so far. So thank you again to Anthony for letting me use your account. He's such a rich dude, honestly. And if at this rate, he might get like all the elite rare cards. So yeah, but anyways, overall, I do want to give Kobe Bryant a... 9.8 out of 10. Why 9.8? Because honestly, I didn't notice that he had so much um, good, you know, shooting moments. I did say that his his fadeaway and jump shot was so amazing, but sometimes he did miss easy fadeaways, and that's why I'm honestly giving him a 9.8. But if you guys honestly have the coins, at least try him out, then sell him if you guys want to. But Kobe Bryant, one of the best I've ever used. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys do find this useful. If you guys did enjoy it, drop a like, subscribe for future reviews, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. What can I say? Mamba out.